everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a products I used up video, and for the most part this is from like May and maybe a little bit of April, so um, I'm just going to be showing you a bunch of products, so I actually might split this video into two parts, um, into makeup and body and um, face and skincare kind of products like that. So, and just a little disclaimer, um, I'm not wearing any makeup for this video just because it's a chill summer day and... Why not? So I'm just going to go ahead and get started because I have a bunch of products to mention. So first I'm going to mention some some teeth products, which sounds kind of funny, but I mentioned this a lot, but it's the Colgate Cavity Protection Toothpaste, and I just have three of these little mini toothpastes here, and I was just kind of using these up, and I like them. I didn't really see much of a difference, though, with like whitening my teeth-wise. And then I also have this Listerine Whitening Vibrant, um, four times more whitening power, whitens teeth safely. Tartar control to prevent stains, kills bad breath germs. And this is in Clean Mint. And it's in a huge bottle. I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to finish this, but I want to try it out because um, Amarique's here on YouTube was raving about this, or Allison Anderson. And um, I actually really like it, and I'm not a big fan of mint, but I will use mint toothpaste and... Um, I've never really used a mouthwash, but I did see a difference in my teeth, and they seem to be a little bit stronger as well. And then I'm going to have some body shower products. This is a Johnson's Baby Head to Toe Wash um, by Johnson & Johnson. And this took me a while to use up, but it's in this little container, and it smells really nice. It's very gentle, and I just kind of use this in the shower just to wash off any, like, body odor or, like, stuff like that, and I really like it. Then I have this um, little sample from the Body Shop. It's Coconut Shower Cream, and it's creamy soap, free cleansing, enriched with community trade virgin coconut oil for normal to dry skin. And it's this little sample, and it smelled okay. I, I didn't really like the scent too much. And um, I just used it to just kind of not waste it. And I wasn't, like, a huge fan of this. I just kind of used it up so I wouldn't waste that little sample. And next I have this Secret Vava Vanilla Deodorant. Oops! <laughs> How clumsy am I? Okay. <laughs> but anyways, um, it just looks like this. It didn't really help with sweating wise, but it did help with, um, like if you did sweat, you it doesn't smell. So you don't smell bad. It's It smells really, really, here I go again. <laughs> yeah, it smelled really nice and um, I really like that. So I repurchased that. Oh, and I repurchased the Johnson's Baby Shampoo and the Listerine mouthwash if you were wondering. So I mentioned this in basically every favorites video I've posted here on YouTube, and it's the Olay Quench Body Lotion Ultra Moisture with Shea Butter and Vitamins E and B3. If you want to know more about it, check out my other favorites videos, but I also have this Light Moisture one because they did not have the Ultra Moisture and I was all out, so I just ended up buying the Light Moisture one. And I actually did not like this one as much as I liked the Ultra Moisture, so this one is the best, for, in my opinion. And the Light Moisture, it's had a little bit of a different scent that I didn't enjoy as much as the Ultra Moisture, and it also didn't work as well. So I would definitely repurchase the Ultra Moisture instead of the Light Moisture if I um, had to choose. And next I have the Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief, and this is just in this little jar, and it's almost kind of like a creamy pink color. It smells really nice and um, doesn't have much of a scent though and it works so so well you guys. I have such dry skin as I mentioned and um, it just really really soothes my skin and it just is amazing. And next I have some hair care products. Um, I have been loving Herbal Essences Hello Hydration Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner and as you can see shampoo is smaller, conditioner is bigger because it's kind of nice um, if you're one of those people that uses up shampoo slower than conditioner, then I would recommend doing this because it really was convenient for me. And um, I love this. I took it on vacation with me before and like on a beach vacation where my hair was so naughty and it was so hard to brush out. But when I used these, it really, really helped. And um, 
I mean, that was last summer, but still, I've been using these right now, and my hair is always so naughty, and these work wonders. I'm just telling you guys. And, um, they smell really nice as well. And the next two things I also have are hair care, and this next thing is Not Your Mother's Naughty Too Nice Conditioning Detangler Infused with Keratin Protein. And I have heard a ton about this brand. It's kind of like this orangey bottle. And everyone on YouTube has been raving about this, especially Beauty Baby 44 here on YouTube. I've heard her talk about this detangler, um, and she really liked it. So I decided to try it out, and it just has like a really... Um, kind of fruity scent. I'm not really sure how to explain it, but um, it just smells like one of the best hair product smells I have ever smelled, which I don't even know how to describe it, but it smells really good. And I'm not sure if it really helps with detangling a whole bunch, but I think it does a little bit at least. And the smell is amazing, so... <laughs> Who cares? And the next thing is also hair care. It is Garnier Fructi Style Curl Sculpting Cream Gel for bouncy curls and frizz control extra strong. So it is in this like green container and it was kind of like a white cream, um, cream color gel. And I just kind of helped to scrunch my hair after I got out of the shower. And this is very, very cheap and it worked really well. So I was really impressed with this, but I actually tried something else. And, um... I kind of like that a little bit better, but I'm not sure. I might go back to this. I don't know, but I think I like the other thing better. But this is really, really nice, and um, it's cheap, and it's probably really, really nice for the summer. And the next thing I have is so random, and I used this up probably a while ago, but it is the White Barn Frosted Cranberry Scented Candle from Bath & Body Works, and it has, like, a gold lid, and it was kind of like this raspberry color, um, I don't know how to describe it, but, um, this candle, it smelled really, really nice, it's like a wintry scent, you could, even a little bit fallish, I guess, and, um, I loved this scent, it was really just nice and relaxing, and almost, like, I guess a hint of pine, but not really, it's, it, it, the frosted cranberry is perfect description, but the actual description, it says, Inspired by ripe red cranberries, dusted with fresh snow and a blend of juicy peach, raspberry, and vanilla. So I think that um, description really relates great to this. Other than the, the blend of juicy peach, raspberry, and vanilla part, I'm not so sure. I mean, there might be a tiny bit of that, but it's mostly cranberry, at least in my opinion. So that is going to be one video just because I don't want to make it too long and that is mostly like um, body and skin care and some hair care products. So I'm going to end that part of the video here and then I am uh, um, going to film the little makeup section next so I can get into detail with that. So I'm going to be wearing the same outfit and everything. So I will link part two in the description box once it goes up. But that is it for today, so thank you so much for watching. Bye.